to end my new reading the book called One Bite the Vine by Mem Fox, illustrated by Kerry Argent. A heartwarming Christmas story from Dan and Under. One Bite the Vine. It was the week before Christmas. One Bite loved Christmas. He loved the carols and the candles, the presents and the pudding. Most of all, he loved the nativity play. For as long as he could remember, Wombat had wanted to be in the nativity play. Now, at last, he was old enough to take part. So, with his heart full of hope and his head full of dreams, he hurried along to the auditions. His friends were already there. Amy was bossing and fussing as usual. Now, let's get started, he said. Who would like to be... Archangel Gabriel. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. It's just very tricky. I would, said Wombat. But he was too heavy to be Archangel. Maybe Archangel, I'm not sure. Gab Gabriel. Bilby was chosen instead. Bilby patted Wombat on the back. Never mind, Wombat. Don't lose heart. Why don't you try a different part? What a good idea, said Amy. Now, who'd like to be Mary? I would, said Wombat. But he was too big to be Mary. Numbat was chosen instead. Numbat stroked Wombat's nose. There, there, Wombat. Don't lose heart. Why don't you try a different part? Right, said Amy. Now, who'd like to be one of the three kings? I would, said Wombat. But it was too short to be a king. That's actually very small to be a king. But still, he could have done it. But I think I would say that he shouldn't do that part too. The kangaroos were chosen instead. The kangaroos put their arms around Wombat. Cheer up, Wombat. Don't lose heart. Why don't you try a different part? Wombat tried everything. He wanted to be Joseph, but he was too sleepy. He wanted to be the innkeeper, but he was too clumsy. He wanted to be one of the shepherds. It was too short-sighted. Then there were no parts left. Wombat hung his head and hoped he wouldn't cry. Suddenly, Bilby leaps into the air. Oh, I know, he shouted. You could be baby Jesus. I could, asked Wombat. Could I really? Of course you could, Wombat. Then you fancy my forgetting such an important part at nativity without the baby Jesus. Is no nativity at all. Wombat was dizzy with pride. Christmas Eve arrived at last. Everyone was nervous except Wombat. He lay quiet and still throughout the whole performance. He even fell asleep, just as a real baby would. On Christmas Day, where everyone was opening presents and eating pudding, they all agreed. It was the best nativity ever. You were divine, Wombat, said Amy. And Wombat beamed. Thanks for watching. Hit the no subscribe button, the notification bell, and hit the like button to this video. Hope you enjoyed this book. Bye!